In this video, I'm going to show you how to install these performance headlights on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. I'm going to remove the front part of the inner fender well. Just take these push pins out. You can use a trim tool. You can pull the wheel off if you want to, but you don't have to. Just move it to the side. You can use a push pin clip remover tool or even a trim tool. Take those out and take this bolt out. Use a 10 millimeter socket. And pull this back. Just to make it easier, I'm going to pull this bolt out as well. Use a seven millimeter socket. And you can pull this back a little more. You want to access the bolt right here. Using a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, I'm going to take the 10 millimeter bolt, just loosen it up. You can take it out completely if you want to, but the headlight is slotted, so you don't necessarily have to. You can just loosen it up. That's fine like that. Remove this cover. There's some push pins. Just use a trim tool, pull the push pins out. And pull the cover off and take these screws out. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Now we need to disconnect these clips right here. Just use some needle nose pliers and you just want to squeeze those as you pull the front of the grill. Pull the grill forward, separating those. And there's one down below right there as well. So you have to un unhook those. Same on the other side. can also use a trim tool. Just try to pry those out. And just slide it out. Now take these two bolts out, use a 10 millimeter socket. And grab the headlight assembly and slide it out. Need to push it down a little bit. 
tip it forward and it comes right out. Disconnect the connector, push down on the tab and it slides right out. When you install these headlights, it's a good idea to replace the bulbs. They are just test bulbs. So we're gonna start with taking this socket out, twist to the left and slide it out. Just grab the bulb and it slides right out. This is a 3157A amber bulb. So replace that with a new one, slide it in, and then twist to the right. Same with this one, twist to the left, pull it out, 3157A, slide it in, and twist to the right. Now onto the headlight bulb. There is a rubber boot right here. You just wanna pull back on the rubber boot. Disconnect the connector right here. Just pull it out, just like that. You wanna push down on this retainer right here, and then it slides up and folds out of the way. Then you can grab the bulb, and it slides right out. This is an H7 bulb. Slide it up, there's a little tab at the bottom. You want that tab to line up there. And then take the hole down of the retainer, slide it over, and then just slide it under the handle right there. And we can connect the connector. And put this back on. Just seal it back up. Come over to this one. This one just pulls up like this. Disconnect the connector here. And then the ground. The ground wire we can leave right there. And then push down on this little tab. Slide that out of the way. And grab the bulb. This is a H1 bulb. So you want to get the new bulb. Make sure you line that up just like it came out, and slide the tab down, lock it in place, connect the connector, and then reseal it back up. Now you can install the headlight in the vehicle. After you're done, you wanna make your adjustments right here using a Phillips head screwdriver. Now install the connector, line it up, lock it down, and get the headlight lined up. You're gonna push down on the bottom. Then in the back, there's a couple pins that line up in the fender. That looks good. Take the two bolts, get those started. and tighten these down. Just snug. Now I take the grill, line it up. Get all the push pins lined up and push those in. And take the bolts, get the bolts started on top. Tighten these down. Now I take this panel, line it up, and push the push pins in.
push those all down. And take the 10 millimeter ratchet wrench and we'll just snug this bolt down. Just snug, that's good. Now put these screws in, get that started. I'll get this one started as well. And before I tighten these up, I'm just gonna put the push pins in and line these up, get those started. Push those down, now we can tighten these down. And snug those down. Now we're gonna get the vehicle ready to aim the headlights. Start with the tire pressure, making sure all four tires are set at the appropriate pressure. Remove any excessive weight that's not normally in the vehicle. Find a wall that you can drive up to where the ground is level. Measure 25 feet away from that wall and mark the ground. Drive your vehicle up to that mark. With the headlights off, look for the center dot in the headlight lens. Measure from the ground to that center dot you can use a ruler to help you out. Transferring that measurement to the wall, making a mark with some tape. On the driver's side, measure down four inches, putting another piece of tape. For the passenger side, you only need to measure down two inches. Now turning the headlights on, it is easier to do this at night or in a dark area. Locating your headlight adjuster and using a Phillips head screwdriver, turn your adjuster one way or another to bring the headlight up or down. Once the headlight is adjusted to the tape mark on the wall, move on to the next headlight. If you're confused because the beams seem to blend together, you can always have someone stand in front of the other headlight while you make your adjustments for that one. Now your headlights are aligned and you're all set to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.